Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your one only athletic card gamer here, LD, talking guys with another awesome Call of Duty video. And today, I'm actually be talking to you guys about the things I'm most excited in uh, Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I actually did put up, I believe, two days ago, or on Monday, anyways. Um, what I'm least excited about Call of Duty Ghost. So go check that out. Um, I'll try. I'll try to put an annotation on the scene uh, on the screen for you guys to so go click it. Um, check it out. It's a pretty interesting thing. Hopefully, you guys do agree with some of my. Uh, points there that I have what I'm least excited for um, but today I'm really excited to get into what I'm most excited for um, as you guys know this game is super super close here and it's a qu it's really approaching quickly and I can't wait to get my hands on it and uh, there's so much things in this game um, that I'm excited about so let's get into this right now um, one of the biggest things I'm excited for is the clans um, they actually put a trailer about it I watched it and right away um, I fell in love with it just because of the clan 4v4. Uh, I think clan versus clan 4v4, sort of like competitive. And I really, really am excited for this. I can't wait to get my team together. And we start playing other people and try to get good and win games and all of that. I'm super excited. And then after there's clan wars, uh, which which is even better. You know, you have to dominate the map. You have to try to win different game types. You no know, variety of the game types. And that's absolutely amazing because um, I love competitive gaming. I love playing competitive, and I love that this game, in a way, is somewhat supporting it um, by putting this game plan, uh, game game uh, type or mode, uh, clan versus clan, and all that, and uh, clan wars. I think this is really big for competitive, and really big for um, in this game for having uh, that extra competitive feel um, that some games didn't really have in the past. But I love that they're supporting this stuff, and it's gonna for sure bring a whole new level to Call of Duty. And a whole new fun thing, because like, sort of like in um, Call of Duty now, towards the end, um, there's not much to do anymore, because you pretty much learned everything on multiplayer. Um, but League Play keeps on going, making you come back. And I think Clan vs. Clan is going to be exactly that same thing. I um, mean, even towards the end, when the next Call of Duty is going to be coming up, um, I'm sure I'm going to still be playing that Clan vs. Clan. And the only reason why I'll still be there will probably be because of the uh, Clan vs. Clan. Now, another thing is Extinction Mode. Um, obviously no aliens or dinosaurs survival style thing. That's absolutely amazing. I can't wait to get into this. Um, if it actually ends up being something like that, survival versus aliens or dinosaurs, um, this is going to be an absolutely amazing game. Right now, from what I hear from this game, um, this game should be one of the greatest games in Call of Duty history. And I can't wait to get it. Um, now the thing about Extinction, I can't wait to try it out. Um, it looks like a really interesting thing and I actually made a video about it a little bit. Uh, a, a while back now, but um, I can't wait to get this. I actually really want to try it and I hope um, Extinction Mode comes out to what I expect it to be, uh, which is a, like a survival thing against uh, aliens and um, a bunch of cool shit happens and all that. Um, no, I can't wait to check this out. I haven't actually seen any gameplay or anything about it or anything, so um, I, 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 it's, it's a whole new thing and I can't wait to try this out. Now, the big thing, and I think what most people are really anticipating in this game is dedicated servers. Um, you know, in every Call of Duty game, uh, you always had that lag problem. That was the one thing, uh, in my video I actually made about things I hate about Black Ops 2. Um, that was, like, at the top of my list. Lag, you know, lag is always one of those things, um, in every game that destroy games, and destroy pretty much your fun in Call of Duty. There's no doubt about it that, um, if there's lag in the game, you're not having fun. Um, usually you can't even talk to your friends because you're, you're lagging your voice. So you only can hear them, they can't hear you, or you can't hear them sometimes, and... And you can't even move pretty much, you can't shoot people, not even a hit marker or anything, and it's absolutely crazy and annoying. Um, so bringing dedicated servers is really exciting to Call of Duty goals, um, because this gives you a better chance to get that good connection, get that 4 bar, and be able to get, get your shots on target, be able to play on a, on a comfortable 4 bar where there's no lag, and, uh, and pretty much have fun all the time. Um, because you could always have that 4 bar, and I think dedicated servers are going to be huge in Call of Duty. And I find this game, more than any other Call of Duty game, they're really bringing a new a s step or chapter, like a whole new level to Call of Duty pretty much. That's what I'm trying to get out there. They're bringing a whole new level to Call of Duty with these dedicated servers, with these new game types like Clan vs. Clan, where, it's, where they're saying it's going to be the best Call of Duty Clan experience yet. Like, they're absolutely bringing the top of the levels of Call of Duty, they're absolutely just bringing out everything they got out here in this game, and they're really, really, um, from, from what you hear from everything 
that I've heard so far. This game sounds like the absolute perfect Call of Duty game. Um, obviously, a connection and dedicated servers will have a big part of it, but also how the game rolls out once it comes out. Um, obviously, some of these game types that I'm super excited about uh, may turn out to be one of the worst game types of all time. And I, I really can't wait to try all these things up. Um, no, it's really excited that dedicated servers are coming. And that's one thing I'm really, really pumped about in Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, another thing is squads. I made a video about this, um, I think a, like two weeks ago or a week ago. And this is a huge thing, I think, for me personally. I think this is a whole new level once again of AIs, you know, those bots. Um, they're really bringing them to uh, be like us. You know, that's a whole new level, Call of Duty. We've seen bots in, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. And they're still retarded. Even hardened, they're not really that smart. It's just that, um, no, it's veteran mode. I think it's veteran mode or whatever. Anyways, they're they're not actually that smart. They just have like a like a freaking aimbot on them. They they hit you from everywhere, um, pretty much. But in this game, they act. They have a sniper. He's acting like a sniper. He has a shotgun. He's acting like a shotgun. You know that that's what I really like about this game. They're gonna drop shot. They're gonna jump shot, and they're pretty much gonna become us almost. You know, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. And obviously it's going to be a one hell of a challenge to obviously destroy a bot team and all that. And plus it's fun because you can play with your friends against other bot teams. and Or you can play your your team with your squad taking on your friend and his squad. That I, I think that's going to be one of my favorite features in that. And then after there's a survival. Um, like a Modern Warfare 3 to survival mode. Um, this time they gave you three different options. But they give you up to 20 rounds, 40 rounds, and then unlimited. Of course, I'm probably going to play more the unlimited thing. Of course... Um, let's just be honest, when the game first comes out, we're just mixing and matching everything, me and my friends. We're playing everything there is, and we're gonna try to put as much time into everything we can. And pretty much by the end, uh, because of all the new features and all that, uh, we should be through halfway of Call of Duty, and still be grinding hard, 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 uh, some of these game types, just because there's so many interesting things, so many different things to try out. And <laughs> it's gonna be absolutely crazy. Um, obviously the eliminated one is more exciting I find just because you can test yourself to your limits how far can you go uh, But obviously the 20 and the 40 sound really interesting because the closer you get to that 20 the closer you get to that 40 um, The harder it gets and the more uh, The more cycle this game gets and the more harder it is to survive obviously um, Which is obviously awesome because I love challenges in this game um, They're bringing you us. They're bringing us some great challenges with this uh, Remake sort of a survival mode of here. Um, so that's really really exciting and you know, after that, there's also you can gain XP from making your squad versus other squads and all that, um, which is obviously a whole new crazy thing. And that's another thing I forgot to mention about the clans. They're bringing like uh, an app and all that just for like the clans and all that, where you could like ch uh, talk to your enemies and hit them or talk to your teammates, they'll pet stuff up. Um, they have a map of everything who's in first, who's this, stats. And uh, they can make you even your own custom emblem, which is absolutely tank because. Um, obviously that's like a, a own unique part of your team and it's pretty awesome to see what people come up with and what they can, what they can make with the, this feature obviously. Um, obviously there's so many different things coming out of this game. Um, but another thing that I'm really excited about in Call of Duty Ghost is obviously the new maps. Everybody, uh, I'm sure really anticipating to play with these new maps. This, this is like a bunch of maps we haven't played yet pretty much. And uh, you don't know what to expect pretty much, no, a lot of these maps are going to be dynamic where uh, if you shoot something, you blow something up, um, pretty much that whole map is changing and I think that's going to be really interesting, keep this game fresh every game and I think it's going to be really interesting um, how, how these maps are going to be, obviously there's going to be a whole lot of maps to learn about, new lines of sights and since the map is always changing, um, obviously lines of sights and all that gets a little harder to learn. And I'm excited because this is going to bring a whole new level to competitive gaming also with these new maps. Um, but also just to look regular public match players because they have to learn how to these new routes, learn how to uh, go around the map. And this is just absolutely crazy. Um, and I'm excited to try that out. Another thing is the guns, of course. Obviously guns, without guns, you can't kill pretty much anybody unless you use like a knife or whatever. Um, but pretty much uh, guns are everything. I can't wait to try out some of these new guns. Um, remade guns like the Vector. Um, you know, the sniper, obviously, even the quick scoping seems to be fixed a little bit um, to where it may be possible to quick scope. Uh, I'm excited to try these snipers. No, the, the marksman class, uh, that, that class, I want to try, try that out. There's a whole lot of things in this game that it's actually crazy all the stuff I have to try out um, because they made so many, so many new things and so many 
interesting and uh, I, I just can't wait to try out everything in this game because it, it just looks absolutely amazing. And you no, know, this game, from what I hear, is going to be absolutely um, the greatest game in Call of Duty history. Um, obviously, we're going to have to see, obviously, because this game's coming out really soon. And when, we, when this game comes out, we're going to have to start comparing stuff. And I can't wait because I have a bunch of series all in my head right now. Uh, what I want to do, pretty much lots of breakdowns, obviously. Um, I really want to get you guys to become the uh, Beast Call of Duty players. Obviously, that's like my, my slogan, sort of. And I really, I really, really am excited for this game. I think there's so many new game types, so many new features, and no game modes. That's another thing I'm excited about. They're bringing a bunch of new game modes like Blitz and Cranked um, that I can't wait to play, obviously. Um, so this game's jam-packed with amazing new, uh, never seen before, putting a new step level to this Call of Duty franchise. And I can't wait to try all this stuff out because from... From what I'm seeing right now, from what I'm seeing in the trailers, this game is going to be absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to get my hands on it when it comes out November 5th, 2013. Um, so that's all I have to talk about. That's what I'm excited about in Call of Duty Ghost. That's a whole lot of things. I'm pretty much excited about the whole game and I can't wait to get my hands on it. But <laughs> pretty much everything I'm excited about. But that's just going through like sort of pretty much a brief. Like I can't really say it a brief, but uh, pretty much going through it, pinpoint. or uh, Yeah, pretty much just going through it in note, uh, note form. That's it. Um, so if you guys did join the video, hit that like button, uh, subscribe for more awesome content, favorite if you really did enjoy it, and as always, your one little athletic card gamer, wishing you guys an amazing day.